baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Houston Astros and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. Stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. Looking for his first big league hit right here. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Gets a piece and stays alive. The wide to kick the pitch. Next One offering ball. misses down Two and three. away. Got him. And now one away. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. That's in there. That's strike one. That one fouled off. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Now a slow roller to second. Cronenworth. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Yainer Diaz. The first baseman, number 21. Yainer Diaz. Fastball for a strike. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. And the Astros put down in order. Now it's the DH, Luis Arias. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just missed. Next offering in there for a strike. Now two balls and a strike. On the ground, Diaz. And he takes oh. it himself for the out. So with one that down, it'll second. bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That oh. one off the mark, and that's ball one. Ball this guy one, who no grew play. up in big league clubhouses, got to be a nice feeling, Siggy, hey. when your father played the big leagues and he passes down all that wisdom. And another ball. I can only imagine the comfort level of being in the ballpark. For those kids who are fortunate hey. enough to have a dad that played in the big leagues, them being on the baseball <laughs> field, for some it's pressure. For them, they feel that they are right at home. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Tosses to first. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Jerks and Profar at the plate and takes high there. Aye. And the right-hander deals. And that one fouled off. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. And the righty deals. That one missed. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Here comes a 3-2. 
Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Ground ball right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. Profar is out and that'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Second inning set to go. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Alex Bregman. Perez back to work. Bounce to the left side. And it goes just foul. The 0-1. Popped up. Cronenworth under this one. Calls it in. And there's one away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. That Unbelievable good. that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, Jeremy. he is going to be frustrated Pena. with himself until his next at bat. Jeremy ah. Pena, batting with one down, oh, takes one. a strike. In the air, right field. Tatis in position. Out number two. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Jake Myers in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Next pitch is outside. And here it comes. Smoked on the ground a second. Cronenworth throws on to first. And that is that. Of inning number two. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. Manny and a pitch. You know, Boo, oh. Petco Park seems to be transforming into Machado's castle. I mean, nobody's hit more home runs in this ballpark. And Machado passed Adrian Gonzalez for the top spot on the list in 2023. Dives, can't get it. It's a base hit. And that's a leadoff double. All over that one right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Jackson Merrill one. in the box now. No balls and a strike. Pitches in there. 0 oh 2. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Dubon pulls that one down. One down. Here's Xander Bogarts. Not shortstop. Xander Bogarts. Fall off foul. Kicks and fires. Hey. And that one clips the corner. There's a line drive to left field. Myers brings it in with a nice run and grab. Now here's Jake Shadow Cronenworth. Seven. The second baseman. Cronenworth. One's in there on one. Well, he left that change up off. Got away with one there, and he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. And that one hit to first. He takes it Got himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. And we're back. New inning getting, in getting started. And the now right the right fielder, fielder ben, ben Gamble. Yeah. As the lefty gets to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Coming on pro far. He's there. He's got it. One away. Here's Mauricio Dubon. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. And now the lineup turns over with one away. 
Waste no time there. You'll often hear now the back. phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting oh, zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the second. Now a screamer into the outfield. Nabs it. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. And there's one thing on his mind this at bat. Get that first hit at the big league level. Ball one, no strikes. Alvarez goes six feet five inches, batting second in today's lineup. And he's usually in the outfield. Today he's the DH. That one hammered, but pulled foul. You know, Blue, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing an open, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. Merrill right there to make the grab. And that is that. Back here in San Diego, set for the bottom of the third. Stepping in for San Diego, Donovan Solano. The pitch on the ground to short Pena sends it across the first leadoff hitter gone in the third so digging in Kyle Higashioka that one's in there strike one still tied at zero last of the third and it's even up Ball, one strike. And this one could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Arise stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Dubon grabs it on the run. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. On the corner for a strike. Two outs, and one in scoring position. Next pitch is outside. In the air, right side. And it drops in. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Now he stops, and he's able to get back into third. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. But the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really were a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Ball one there. Corners are occupied with two down. And a count one and two. And another ball. Way high there. And that's ball three. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. Back here at Petco Park, all set for the start of the inning. And now Gaynor Diaz. The pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And it's one to go. Well, not only can Perez pitch, but he can also sing. Remember, he performed the national anthem for Team Venezuela leading up to the World Baseball Classic? You watch that video, you'll see how much that moment meant to him. Left field, way back there. That one's got a chance. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. 
Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone Good down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Good. And a foul ball. Ball tied up. Top half of inning number four. Gets under and pops it up. And there's one down. So up next, Jeremy Pena. He's 0 for 1. Jeremy Pena. First pitch just misses. Ball one, no strike. Line drive. Makes the grab. Two down. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. That one lifted to left, and that'll fall for a base hit. Here's the throw to the plate. In there, he scores, and it's 1-0. Picks himself up an RBI. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough, but right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. Two outs. Outside Eight. corner, there's a strike. One ball, one strike. That to right. Tatis drifts towards it. Drops into the glove. And that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres. Manny Machado. Machado. Eric Getty back to work. There's the strike. And that's downed away. Now it's Belty. Deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. And we are starting over. It's 1-1. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. And the batter now, Jackson Merrill. Fastball for a strike. Oh, he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Just off the outside edge. And now it's even one and one. Hard hit left side. Now a jump throw on target. He got him. Nice play. And here comes Xander Bogarts. 0 for 1 so far. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Line drive, caught! It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove. But you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Cronenworth, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. Fights it off, you'll see another. That Ball one two. just misses. It's a good take. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. Goodbye, It just got out of here. It's their second home run of the inning, and that gives them a lead. It's 2-1. So two away with nobody on. Here's Donovan Solano. That one ripped. Dubon makes the play. That is the inning. Ready now for the fifth go, inning. Yeah. Now it's the right fielder, the right Ben Gamble. Ben. Well, after scoring runs, yeah. this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That's ripped. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now batting. Let's so next up for Houston, Mauricio Dubon. And that is in for a strike. And it's a 1-1. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. 
Nobody out. Runner at first. Ripped to first. Caught. Takes it to the bag himself, but he's back in time. So a substitution needed at first because of the injury. On a pinch run, oh, Kyle Tucker. So the lineup flips over. Here's the Astros leadoff man, Jose Altuve. And a swing and a miss. 0 oh, 1. In the air, left field. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Lead runner around second. And he's got a double. Here's Tucker on his way to the plate. Oh, the throw is wild. It's off the mark, and he scores. Well, we're starting over again, all tied up. We somehow got to that outside pitch and pulled it hard into the outfield. Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, but you wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his back. Now Don Alvarez. Lined into right. And they get the out on Alvarez. Here comes the runner from third. Puts the tag on him and it's a double play. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Now into the game, Kyle Tucker. He takes over and right. Number 30, Kyle and now it's going to be Kyle Higashioka doubled in his first A.B. The right-hander back to work. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. You know, these Padres doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there. And on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. Swing and a pop-up. Altuve settles under this one. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Luis Arise yeah, stands in. The designated hitter. Luis Arise. Just a slow ground ball this time. And he grabs it in foul ground. And now the one. Rips that one to right. Tucker pulls it down, and there's two gone. And the batter now back, will be Fernando right Tatis Jr. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. And there's the strike. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. Myers pulls it in to end the inning. And we're back. And now the first baseman, Yainer Diaz. Yainer Diaz. The wind of the pitch. Diaz measures six feet even, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Fly ball down the line. Tatis sizes this one up, and it's caught for the out. Now it's Alex now Bregman. Third baseman, Alex that one finds the zone. One one. And catches the corner. Base is empty one away. But we're at the top half of the sixth. And down on strikes. And there's two away. And stepping in is the speedy Jeremy Pena. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that is that. Back here in San Diego, bottom of the six. Now the left fielder, Jerickson Profar. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Out to center. 
as this one sized up. And out number one on the grab. Here's Manny Machado now. He's already homered in this game. Manny Machado. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a strike in there. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One ball. Oh, that's that slurry right break. there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. That smash towards center. Myers flashes the leather on the running catch. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. And first offering is fouled off. And that one is inside ball one. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Struck him out looking. Top of inning number seven. Vic Caratini at the plate. Victor Caratini. Perez back to work. That one's in there. Strike one. I really oh, like one. how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Ball, Outside. Out. One and one. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. One up, one down. And next to hit for Houston, Jake Myers. Now back, the center fielder, Jake Myers. There's a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Out towards right center field. Merrill sizing this one up. Corrals it. And there are two down. Here's Kyle Tucker. Entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Hammer down the right side, but foul. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Two down, nobody on. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a foul ball, he stays alive. All tied up here at the top half of inning number seven. That nope, one misses. And the count one and two. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Up next to the Astros. So two down. Mauricio now here is Mauricio Dubon. Dubon. That nope, just misses, down. and that is ball one. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Out to short. Zips it to first. <laughs> Number three. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. From Valdez. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. It's Xander Bogarts now. Not shortstop. Xander Bogarts. The pitch. That Eight. one's in there. That's strike one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. One up, one oh. down. Jake Cronenworth the bat, now at the plate. Nine. He's already Second homer here man. in this one. Jake Cronenworth. 
Missed oh, inside up. with the curb. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch. He backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. One down, base is empty. Late hey. that time, and it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. In two the balls, dirt, the count strikes. now two and two. Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. So two down now. And here is Donovan Solano. Pass ball for a strike. Going one. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. On the ground to third. Rolls across oh. the diamond, and that's the inning. Back here at Petco Park, we go to the eighth, and stepping in for the Astros, Jose Altuve. And he deals. Pitches in for a strike. It's 0-1. And that one fouled off. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. Now the number two hitter, you're down Alvarez. Just missed. And fouled off. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. That yeah. pitch gets the inside corner. It's a ball in two strikes. Now a rip into left center. Profar settles under it, makes the grab, and they get the out on Alvarez. And there's two down. So next up for Houston, Yainer Diaz. And there's a foul ball. Two out, space is empty. Close, but called a ball. And the count is one and one. That clips the corner. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. The Astros turn to a new arm of the mound. Ronel Blanco on for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some... there probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight just relax and do what you're capable of doing he got Shioka in the box now take strike one oh, and that's off that's inside. the inside edge and yeah, the count even one and one Way out front for strike two. One ball. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So the batting order turns over. Luis arrives. Getting ready to hit. And fires in a fastball at 95. To the right side, Diaz. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Fernando Tatis now Jr. Back. to hit right here. Fielder. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. One for three. That clips the corner. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it be better than it actually was. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And a swing and a miss. 
Padres go down one two three. And we're back and now Alex Bregman. Third baseman number two. Alex Bregman. The pitch. Close oh, one doesn't get the call. One and oh. My drive that's a base hit. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. Always feels amazing getting a job the done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield hey. for the base hit. Those always feel great. Pena in the box now. Take strike one. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Victor Caratini up next for the Astros. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. One away. Tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. Just missed. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, but the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. On the ground, a short could be two. Slings that's to enough. second, double play. Yeah. And that sends us to the bottom of the ninth. We are tied. Now into the ball game on defense, Greg Kessinger. He's the new third baseman. Profar climbs in go. on that left Go-Bow side. Padre. 0 for 3 with two no fly outs. And And a pitch. Aye. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park, where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the LA Dodgers. The place would that one is absolutely belted. And in one hops the wall. In safely at second base, and that's the potential winning run with nobody out. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And now it's Manny Machado. First pitch misses. Winning run stands at second. That one missing inside. Well, he's been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. And there's a ball. The winning run on second base. And that drops in for a strike. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Next for the Padres, Jackson Merrill. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Fall off foul. He's falling behind in a huge spot, but we've got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. Three, got him. And two away now. The batter, number two. Now Xander Bogarts gets a chance to hit. Xander. Oh, how he'd love Bogart. to walk it off right here. Ah. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Altuve in plenty of time to first. Bogarts retire. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. 
We're back in a new arm on the mound as we start extra. Jeremiah Estrada on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference. Here's the center fielder, Jake Myers. The center fielder, number two, Jake Myers. The pitch. Flips the corner. That's strike one. That one in there across the letters. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. And yeah, the righty deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. First pitch not close. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Pitch misses there. Now 2 0. Oh. Right through there for a strike. And there's a strike with here at 98. Got him! And now two blown. And next to hit for Houston, Mauricio Dubon. Mauricio Dubon. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. On a line. And that gets down into the gap. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score. The Astros take the lead. Three to two. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Really nice job to take that inside pitch and pull it into the gap. He could have easily spun off of it or just been oh, tied good. up. He stayed short to the baseball. And he was thinking triple right out of the box. And that's a little bit high. Two balls, no strikes. Out towards left center. Merrill drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. Welcome back. And here comes the closer, Josh Hader. A chance at his first save of the year. Number 71, John Hader. Well, one run game. Here's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. And that one fouled off. Well, in this situation with the runner on second, you've got to get him up to third. Think back up to middle or to right field. So the tying run at second. Aye. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top. Nine drive. And no one can get there. In comes the run from second. Back even, it's 3-3. It's a leadoff double, and the winning run is at second base. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. Oh, that pitch got away from him, and that's a hit by pitch. Well, the pressure is already high, and now it's been cranked up to another level, and his head must be spinning out there on the mound. He's got to find a way to slow things down. That breathing technique, dude. Let everything out. Zach Bunt towards third. Off balance beat. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. So the San Diego batting order turns over. So here's the Padres DH. Luis Arias. Known for his late inning heroics. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Makes the catch for the second out. Next to hit, up Fernando to Tatis Jr. The white field. You don't get ahead in the count. Well, you can forget about having any success against him. Yeah. And fouled off. The winning run at third. And here in extra innings. 
swing and a miss, and that's strike two. No and he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Across is the winning run, and the Padres walk it off in extra innings. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. This team is celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. And the final score here, 4-3. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.